Hi, Cancer. Welcome. I'm Pam, and this is your Psychic Tarot reading for the month of June 2014. The first card that shows up for you today, Cancer, is the Wheel of Fortune. To me, the Wheel of Fortune shows um, that you've been through some trials and tribulations. It's like the wheels of fate or karma working in your life. There's a lot of things to pull from, a lot of resources uh, to pull from. You've had a lot on your plate. You've had a lot going on in your mind. I feel that you've been um, up and down. There's been a lot of things in your life, almost like you've been feeling like you've been spinning out of control a little bit in some areas. And I get that you have some concerns that have come up lately that you don't want to jeopardize your future or future plans maybe that you've made. And I hear that's been it's been a hard time in some ways for you uh, coming to grips with some things that have been going on in your reality lately. I get that you need to take a break or a pause from life in some ways, like to step back, take a step back. I get that there's people coming in and out of your life to help you and that you've enjoyed that in some ways, like you've gotten close to some people uh, because of this help or comfort that they've been giving you. I get that you're going to begin a new cycle, so uh, that's good. I'm hearing the birth of a new cycle is beginning now, Cancer, so um, I'm happy for you about that. I hear that you're every bit of an entrepreneur in some ways, but that you've given the wheel over to somebody else to drive the, the car for a little bit, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, some of you cancer people out there. I also hear that you're tired of, dro of um, other people dropping the ball and you having to pick it up again. Or maybe this applies to you. Like in some ways you felt you've dropped the ball and you are tired of having to pick it up again. That phrase is coming up. And um, my spirit guides are reminding me to tell you that everything happens for a reason. So if you've felt like there's been some things out of control in your life or you haven't understood why the, you feel like the wheels of uh, karma have, have maybe turned against you um, recently or in the recent past that everything that's happened uh, is happened for a reason, which doesn't necessarily make it feel any better, but um, I don't believe that anything that's occurred has been random. The next card that you have that comes up for you, Cancer, is the Lover's card. So um, that's crossing over the Wheel of Fortune. So let me see why that's come up here for you. I, I get that for some of you um, that in the romantic department that there's been some up and down and back and forth and inconsistency um, in in some of you Cancerians relationships out there. I get that for some of you, you may feel like you don't know who to trust anymore. Like, I feel that some trust issues have been breached. I get that you want some more closeness and intimacy time in your relationships, but that you've stepped back from that. Closer, yet you've distanced yourself and, and um, Put yourself like a little bit far away for some, from some people that you've been close to in the past. Um, the card that crowns your reading here is the Magician. And to me, um, I usually read the Magician card as the card of the Manifester, you know, uh, the card of the Law of Attraction, or uh, I don't know if any of you have heard of that. I'm sure you have. Um, that you can create what you think about, you bring about. And you can, with your thoughts, like thoughts become things. So you have that crown in the reading. So let me hear why that's here for you, Cancer. I hear that you've been going around in circles in your life, Cancer, and that maybe you, you kind of feel like a dog chasing its tail. Like you haven't really liked some things going on in your life. I hear that you've been wanting some alone time, and this has been good for you, that you've wanted to be alone. Uh, again, it comes up like sort of having a hard time with your reality, having to come to some grips with things, um, some things that you haven't liked. 
So I'm, I'm sorry to hear that for you, Cancer, but uh, the next card you have in the layout is actually very good. It's the star. And uh, I always like when the star shows up. That's uh, a very positive card. To me, this is like divine blessings, uh, making a wish, your wish is being heard by, you know, spirit, by the divine, by the universe. I hear that you're entering a new time where uh, spiritual growth and development is actually becoming important to you. I hear that you're coming to some closure on some things and that you're actually going to get some peace from this closure. I hear that you've engaged with some warring or sparring, but this is over. And this could be internal warring and sparring to cancer. It's not necessarily your warring and sparring with others, but it could be it could be that too. Um, it's weird because I get you feel alone, but that you've wanted to be alone. So it's kind of a dual a dual out. It's kind of a duality duality here. Sorry. <laughs> I, I get that you're a little bit crestfallen because you've spent a lot of time thinking about others and that um, in some ways you feel that there's some people that should have been thinking about you and maybe they really didn't and that this is a little disappointing. Um, I, and I, I hear that uh, your spirit guides want you to know that you, you're you being guided along this journey and that actually you've kind of picked a tough one. Um, I know maybe this sounds odd because it's a general reading, but maybe this means that people born under the sign of cancer in general, um, maybe born into that sign, is you've picked a little difficult journey this time around. I know this is odd because this is a general reading, but this is what I'm hearing from my spirit guide. So, and I, I also hear that you have a lot of good things coming and good things coming up to you. But the big message here they want to say to you is that you need to listen, listen to your spirit guides, uh, messages, your trust, your own instincts and your intuition, because this card is a card of spirituality and it says you are becoming more focused and, and uh, interested in that part of your life, but they're also saying make sure to pay attention and uh, listen to it too, Cancer. The next card that you have here is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands to me is, um, Knights usually represent somebody uh, youthful, it could be somebody in their 20s or early 30s or even their late teens, but it could be somebody that just is youthful or acts youthful. Um, wands is a suit that is connected to do with fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. It's a sign that um, wands symbolize growth, communication, new enterprise, new beginnings. I feel that this um, Knight of, of Wands is somebody that you know that you're that you're close to. And that um I'm I'm hearing that at times you've felt bad about this person in some way. You've had resentments towards them, uh you've resented them a little bit. I get that some up and down behavior with them or things going on in their life or up and down behavior for you, with you, and this person. I get uh, energetically you've had feelings like you've wanted to help this person, but that recently you've uh, backed off or you're backing off from helping them uh, or not helping them as much. And I get that you're inclined to believe and trust this person. I get that he's uh, angry with himself. He's actually battling some demons and going around in a, in a circle. So, um, which is interesting because the next card that comes up here following him is um, the, the devil. And the devil is actually a card of addictions to me. 
it would be like uh, alcoholic addictions, drugs, gambling, sex, addicted to a relationship, um, spending money. And it's interesting that what messages came up for the Knight of Wands and then the Devil card follows it. So I get that you're going through a going through a phase where you're going to give up on I don't like kind of give up on helping this person in a sense that they have to figure these things out for themselves now. So that you're stepping back, um you're stepping back from them. So I actually feel like even though this is a reading for you, um it's this devil card is actually connected to the Knight of, of Wands, and you're stepping back. And I get you're not going to like, in some ways, how you've been treated by this person, and the words being judged comes up. And that uh, I feel like this uh, Knight of Wands has judged you too, Cancer. That uh, So the two of you have sort of gone back and forth on judging each other, and not really being happy with each other. Yet, I feel that you are close to this person, and you do want to and have trust and belief in this person. And there's, uh, my guides are telling me there's a sunshine ray of hope that things are going to turn around. So for whatever has gone wrong with this person, or with you and, and this person, is going to turn around. That's what I'm hearing here. So let me see what uh, the next cards you have here. Oh, you have some good ones coming up. Yay! You have uh, some nice cards. You have a nice card that came up here. Oh, that one's not that good. <laughs> you have some good ones and some not so good ones. Okay, the next card you have up come up is uh, Ten of Cups. And uh, Ten of Cups to me is a great card. This is like the happy home, the rela emotional fulfillment, the relationship that you want. Children, nice home, property, uh, everything's coming up roses with this card. So it's a very good card. Um, and it's cups. And cups symbolizes emotions. They tell me you've been driving yourself too hard, that you need to take a break and step back. <laughs> it's odd. The messages I'm getting for this card don't really coincide with the card meaning itself, but I'm getting that Again, it came up earlier that being alone, like taking time alone is actually better for you or has been better for you right now and something you've wanted to do. I also hear that, uh, you know, this has come up a lot for a lot of the signs for the month of June, that you're going to close some doors and leave the past behind you. Um, I do get that. That's been a theme that's going on quite a bit. I get that. Um, Next month even might feel a little challenging for you, even though this is a June 2014 reading, um, and I'm hearing that August is really a much better time for you. I feel like you come out of some things. I don't feel like you're fully out of the woods yet. Um, it's really the turnaround point seems to be August, and July could be a little difficult, which is a shame because it's going to be a lot of you cancer people. Um, it's your birth month for a lot of you. So, sorry to hear that, but I get um, in August you make your way out and into a new situation. The next card that comes up for you is the Justice card. Justice to me, the next card that comes up for you is Justice. And the Justice card for me, this could be court papers, legal matters, uh, divorce could be, represent a lawsuit. Um, oh, so maybe that's why I let me see if it's connected to the difficult things for uh, July. Let me bring that. I get that uh, you a lot of people have been angry with you, and this has made you feel bad, and you haven't liked it, and that you want to walk away from from some things. I, I get like closing the door and walking away. I get that you have shouldered a lot of burdens and responsibilities in the past. And I hear that you've had resentments about this, however, which even though 
I don't like to say anything negative, but even though that was like a positive thing in some ways, you putting yourself on the line for others, it's because you've resented it, it's actually brought you some negative karma, which doesn't really make sense to me, but that's what my guides are telling me. I hear that uh, you're going to gain the advantage, however, and put some problems um, that have been buzzing around you from the past behind you now. The next card that you have that comes up in your reading, Cancer, for the month of June 2014 is the High Priestess. And the High Priestess, to me, when that comes up in a reading, I usually see that as messages directly from your spirit guide. It's like a high guide. Some people maybe would say this is like your guardian angel or like your head guide. Um, so let me hear why this is here for you, Cancer. My spirit guides are telling me that any idle time that you've had is over. That now you're coming up on having to push forward and act. It's actually telling you to act. I hear that um, a lot of stumbling blocks had been put have been put in your way, and like you've tripped over a lot of them, and now there's it's like a, a sea of rubble around you. So uh, you've gotten through a lot of difficulties and, and things, but it's been messy. That's what I'm getting. It's been messy. <laughs> and I apologize to any of you cancer people out there that are hearing this and say, this doesn't make sense for me, but these messages are coming up to talk to somebody out there. <laughs> um, I hear that you've given up a lot and had to sacrifice a lot of yourself and they're saying, now this is over. So that's good. I'm not really sure what this could pertain to. I mean, it could be anything. The thing that circles around me the most here with that is I feel like if I go back to the Knight of Wands, I feel like this could be a child, a nephew, a good friend, somebody that you care about. It could even be somebody romantic, but I'm not getting that energy about this card in particular. I feel like this is this is the person you've helped and maybe people connected to that person. So, but this is over. This is the theme that's coming up in the whole reading, really circles around you going into your protective shell and kind of isolating yourself and Stop putting yourself on the line so much and extending yourself and not feeling appreciated as much. And so that's interesting, Cancer, because it goes back to the beginning, the Wheel of Fortune card. It goes back to this, where the uh, karmic wheels of fate are turning now. So you've gone through a lot. Uh, you've struggled a lot. There's been a lot of extending yourself and struggles. And now the wheels of fate are turning in your favor. It's not completely over, though, because I do feel like the month of July, there could be some more of whatever difficulties you've been experiencing are still going to go forward in that month. But in August, at some point, maybe more towards the midpoint of August, things are going to start turning around and you're going to start feeling like, you're getting a breath of fresh air of some new things coming into your life, not so much of this uh, difficulties and struggles. Now, Cancer, the last card that comes up for you, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm going to draw another card after this because I just don't like this card. It's And I don't want to end on a negative note here. It's the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords to me is... It's grief, it's suffering, sadness, loss. It's, it's, it's like anguish. You could also be suffering from some kind of sickness, not feeling well, pain, discomfort. I hear the words, stop the madness, you're done with it. I hear that this is actually a pivotal point. It's a turning point. So you've actually had to come to this point. 
finally it's it's good in the sense that it's you're finally coming to the turning point which is again goes back to the beginning card which is the which was the um, wheel of fortune I hear you've ended some relationships that have been bad for you for you and this is time for you to rebuild so these could be um, any type of relationship they could be emotional love relationships they could be family relationships it could even be business uh, co-worker and business relationships however I feel this is more family related or romantically related when they say this so cancer because I don't like that card I'm going to draw one more card for you and see if we can get a resounding message for you from the spirit world here beyond the final outcome card which was the nine of swords so this is for cancer June 2014 And the card I get here is Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles to me usually symbolizes a child. It could be, or a message. Pages go along with earth signs, which would be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And this is a child that's sensitive, caring, intuitive. They're often very psychic. Um, they have a lot of deep emotions. They are usually fortunate with money or connected to money matters and money issues. Um, there's a lot of sensitivity around this card. So let me hear what my guides say, why the Page of Pentacles showed up. I hear you're going to pull yourself out of all this funk and anything that's been going on around you that you haven't liked especially with money matters so I'm getting that money matters are going to improve so phew some good news for you cancer people after this somewhat dicey meeting I really get even though this is a June reading I get that you really pull out of a lot of things that have been complicated or difficult and holding you down in some kind of mire in September, October, November. Fall is the much better time for you. So you still have some more complications or this things that aren't going to make you too happy to go through this summer months, especially July, starting to feel like you're coming out of it in August. And by the time you hit September, October, November, I really, I'm seeing you like pulling yourself out of mud. That's what I'm saying. So, and really having, you know, breathing the fresh air is what I get. So I want to thank you for watching Cancer. And please tune in next month for your psychic tarot reading for your sign. And if you're interested in having a personal reading with me, please go to my website listed below where you can schedule and purchase a personal reading there. Thank you so much. Many blessings and peace.